everybody, it's Mike aka that reseller guy back to you with another video today. Uh, this is Wednesday as I'm making this video, a different day that I'm putting out one, trying some different things here and putting out a video on a Wednesday rather than a Thursday because according to my analytics it says more of you watch videos on Wednesday than Thursday. So I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot, see if it makes any difference whatsoever. So are you ready? Let's get going. <laughs> All right, I know y'all want to know about the title of this video about me scoring with those two women. I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. That's later on in the video, though. I'm, I got stuff all over the place. This, this office is a disaster right now. Got a lot of stuff that I just priced going out to my collectibles booth. So let's go ahead and have a little show and tell, I guess, with, uh, as I like to call it, with the stuff that's here that I'm taking out to my booth, show you the kind of stuff that's been selling for me out there. Uh, I only had two sales on eBay that are going out today, so we're not talking a whole lot about sales, but I'll show you those. Actually, I'll just throw a pop-up here of one item, $10, and here another item, $20. Yeah, sales been pretty slow this week after kind of having a decent weekend, so uh, not happy about that. Uh, what am I taking out to my booth? Uh, got a bunch. Where do I even start? There's stuff. I, there is stuff everywhere. All right, show you one thing that I do all the time. You guys know that I sell a lot of sports cards and stuff. So a lot of times I'll buy collections or I'll get sets and they're in these uh, three ring binders. And these binders, when you find them brand new at stores are between like 10 and 15 bucks. Now they don't give these, these D ring binders away. So uh, if I get cards in here, a lot of times the set that I get inside or the cards I get inside, the binder's worth more than the card. So I will take the binder and make sure I clean up a little bit. This one does have a little mark right here, but it's no big deal. Look. You can see that this binder is from like 1984. This is an old binder. People like this old style art that was on these. So what I do is I pair it up. I put 20 of these nine pocket pages in here. Put 20 of them. These are actually used as well, but they're pretty nice, clean pages, no stickers or anything like that. And I'll sell this for $15 in my booth. And they sell pretty quick once I put them in there. And this last little collection I bought had three of these. So uh, actually they just threw these binders in there with the cards that were in there. So this was 45 free dollars that I got from that purchase that I did where I bought a bunch of sets from a friend of mine. So uh, I'll get these all taken out to my booth and uh, they'll probably take a couple weeks to sell all of them. But uh, yeah, that's like free money. Found this little guy right here. This is a Detroit Red Wings. I went to a Goodwill uh, this past week and there was a bunch of Detroit Red Detroit Red Wings. I have problems saying that. I want to say Wed Wings. Comes out wrong. Uh, so yeah, just this little, this was like a little stadium giveaway gnome. Not a real expensive item, but it was just a couple bucks at the store and I'll sell it. I think I put it for $9.99. If you look on eBay, like the cheapest one, usually they have the boxes. It's about 20 bucks. So I'll sell it for $10 without the boxes. It, it is breakable. So uh, rather have the box and I'm going to ship that item out. There's a couple other Red Wings items that I got, but I listed those on eBay uh, and now they're stored up here in my little storage area. What else is going out there? Uh, we got this game here, Munchkin Zombies or Munchkin Zombies. I, don't, I can't remember what I said. I like Munchkins. I like the little Munchkins from uh, Dunkin Donuts. Those little donut holes. All oh, those things are good. Uh, but yeah, this game was brand new in the box. It was open though. So I'm going to sell this new open box, I think for like 10 or 12 bucks for that. Only one game right now going out to my booth. I did find a few others and uh, listed those on eBay. They're actually better ones. I'll pop another one up here. I just sold this one a couple of days ago. Uh, Tiger Woods, the Masters Golf for a Wii, I think sold for 28 bucks. Found that the same day as this one, this Rugged Rats. I think this one's uh, 13, 14 bucks, somewhere in there. And then I listed another one, NFL Street 2. Uh, I think that was also for PlayStation. I think I listed that one for like 35. So I had one good little haul that I found at, uh, at one Goodwill the other day. That, that worked out pretty good. Most of those games were like four bucks a piece. What else do I got up here? Just a bunch of random stuff. I, I've been putting more of these small box games. They've been selling slowly, but it's one of those categories I'm kind of seeing if it works in my booth. So like this Munchens game, on the Stranger Thing, Ego card game. I find little card games like that. I've been putting them in the booth. I've uh, got this cool vintage Disney World mug, this ThermoServe mug. So you got all the characters on there. What did I put like seven bucks on that one? It was only a dollar in the store. Another little game that just these little games I have one shelf in there that I'm keeping some of these little games on and slowly been selling and another thing that I can pick up for a buck or two that one's 750 new it's not worth putting on eBay for 10 bucks trying to sell it there so we'll put it in the booth uh, always looking for good Funko Pops and again main character so we got uh, Harley Quinn here from Birds of Prey they had a several of the other characters from the Birds of Prey movie at that Goodwill one and I just didn't buy them because 
I don't think too many people are looking for Canary and, oh, I don't know, I can't remember the other girls. And then those, there. There were a couple other of those on there. But uh, I'll take Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn does sell fairly popular. And Minecraft stuff sells like crazy. Whenever I can find Minecraft toys, I pick them up. And this is, I believe, Steve and Diamond Armor, if I'm correct. Is anybody that knows Minecraft, my daughter would correct me if I was wrong. But I think that's who it is. Another item I bought for a dollar and is going to sell for like $7.50. Getting rich seven dollars and fifty cents at a time. All right, what else do we got over here? Pick this up for a few dollars. The Steelers photo with Troy Palomalo and the little Super Bowl thing here. I'm gonna put that in the booth for ten bucks. Uh, this I think I might take this to my booth as well. I found it uh, another good little find. I think it was marked five dollars, but it has a little bubble right here in the logo. So I think I'm gonna just put this in my booth rather than try to describe that. Uh, in my eBay listing and have somebody that might not be happy with that little bubbling that's in the sticker. So I'll put it in my booth. Uh, so I'll put it for like 14 bucks. I think right around that price, even with the little sticker, someone can display this side and it still will display pretty nice. Got this back here. I found me a Dundee. Yeah. Right now it says, uh, what is it? Uh, Fine Work Award. And then it comes with a few others inside. Does it show a picture? No. It just says that it comes with like five or six other different nameplates that you can swap out. Uh, if you look this exact one up on eBay, people are asking like $50, $60 for this one. I think there's only one company that sells them. Uh, it is a fairly high quality trophy inside. I took it out and looked at it. It's not super cheap plastic, but no, I can't imagine somebody paying 50 or 60 bucks for this. So I'm putting it in my booth for 20. I think there's gonna be an office fan that will buy that, that item for 20 bucks, but 50, 60 bucks, I think is, is just crazy. There's no souls at that price. That's just what they're asking on eBay. Is there anything back here? There's nothing back there. There's this here. I still haven't even priced this. I bought this for $12 with my coupon. It got down to about 10 but I thought that thing was really cool. So we got the castle, Cinderella Castle, little porcelain village. You got the carriage. You got a prince right there. So I got to look. I don't know if I'm going to sell this on eBay or try it in my booth first. It is a porcelain castle back here. So I think in the box it would ship fine. But if I can get... 30 in my booth i might try it there first uh and then go to ebay with it because uh yeah i have to charge 12 bucks at least to ship this item just because of the size of the box but that's going to the booth i know there's more stuff around here there's a couple baseball card sets but you don't want to see those what else is around this one hasn't been priced yet i don't know if this is going on ebay or to uh my booth just a Anytime I can find beer signs, uh, I will pick them up. This one, I can't tell this was for one that was made for a bar or if this was sold at like a Michael's or something because it, it is it is a fairly cheap sign, but there's no price tags on the back from like Michael's. You can see I paid $5.49 before coupon, of course. Never heard of Oarsman Ale. So again, I'll look on eBay, see if there's any comps. Let me look real quick. Okay, I looked. There's two of them on eBay right now. The highest price is $40 plus shipping but then there's another one available for $15 plus shipping so no solds so what does that mean it's going to my booth and hopefully someone uh, either knows this beer or ale and just wants it for their man cave something that looks pre pretty cool i put it for like 12 bucks if they're not selling for 15 on ebay i'll try for 12 in the booth and uh you know hopefully i'll sell at that price now i did find a few other things that aren't going to the booth stuff that's going to be on ebay that i haven't gotten listed yet so First up, I'll show you this sign here. I actually thought this might be a, an authentic old porcelain sign. Piper Aircraft Piper Cub, Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, USA, marked $5.49. was when I flipped over and I saw one of these Andy Rooney stickers on it. So these are really high quality reproductions and uh, I went ahead and grabbed it, especially for that price. I've had a few of these in the past and they sell kind of all over the place, 20 bucks up to $100, just depending. So again, we're gonna look this one up real quick. I haven't even looked it up. I didn't look it up in the store. I just knew for that price, I would buy it. All right, I'm looking on eBay right now. Currently showing eight for sale. Prices uh, anywhere from 15 bucks plus shipping. And people are charging like $15 to ship one of these metal signs. Uh, but people are asking as high as 125. So you can see there's a crazy range of asking prices. Now, are there any sold? one sold but that was like that was a magnet nope so none of these signs have sold so i'm, I'm torn I, I'll, I'll go look on terapy i'll see if any have sold over the past year otherwise i'll probably take it to my booth and put it there for like 20. they're not selling on ebay uh at any price 
I mean, the average price is probably $50. Like I said, $40 is the one at 15, but they're asking $60 shipping. So I'm torn. I'll, I'll check Terra Peak first, but uh, that could just end up at my booth. I'm always looking for these. I'm always looking out for these wrestling belts because usually what I'll do is I'll pair two of them up together. You can sell them individually for eight to maybe $15 tops for certain ones, but I like to put lots of two of them together and put them out there for like 25 to $30. You get the price one. This one's up. This one's got a spinner inside. That one's, that one's kind of cool. So we've got a couple different belts. You can usually buy these for two to five dollars a piece. Uh, probably average price is three. That's about what I'm paying for them. So I'll, I'll get the two of those listed later today. But I'm trying to look to see if I had anything else that was going out there. I don't think so. And I've just made the office even messier. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I did. I scored with two ladies at the same store. I did. But I'll get to the story first. So they, they brought out a new cart of merchandise and up at the top, I see the side of this case like this. And I could tell that this was some sort of storage case for like action figures or something. I get it down and look, this thing is huge. This is pretty big, it's like briefcase size. And I flipped it over, bam, there's the two ladies, Barbie and Midge, doll case. Really nice. Now they had marked $25 on this, $24.49 was the actual price. So, but it was kind of heavy and I'm like, ooh, let, let's look inside. So I looked inside and, well, it's empty now. But check out this case. This is pretty awesome. You got this Barbie and Midge, you got the great graphics. The storage site is a little beat up. It's old plastic and I think it dried up and cracked. But when I found it, this side was full. We had two dolls and a bunch of stuff in the middle. And I've already done some listings on these and I've already sold a few things. And then I have an auction running as well. So like I said, obviously I bought it, it was marked $24.49, I got to use my coupon. We'll just say I paid $20 for this. I think the case is probably $25. It's probably, it's not in the greatest condition, it's splitting a little here on the edges. I think that happens a lot on these. This case I'll probably sell at my booth. This is big, you'd have to charge $15, $16 just to ship that case. So I'll probably put it for like $25, maybe $30 in my booth. This, this is awesome looking if you're into, into Barbies and dolls. But what was inside it? All right, I'm gonna show uh, a little picture. I think I'll do it right here of uh, some of the listings that I've done. I sold two items. One was a dress and that sold for like $12. I'll throw that pop up here as well. And then I sold some wigs. They were wigs on these little wig stands and I could not get the wigs off the stands. They had almost like molded to the stands. And I sold those, for, I believe that was also for $12. The buyer ID for that one was like Barbie something or other. So I said, I. Go ahead and I'm gonna make you a deal on these. I hope you can get them off here, rescue them, and get them back to where they're functioning wigs for Barbies again, because uh, they're probably expensive if you sold them individually and know what you're doing. Uh, I, like, as I showed in the other picture, I think I have four or five other listings, a couple purses, a couple other outfits, and then the big money stuff. First up, I'm running an auction. It actually ends tonight. So I'll show you the listing right here. As of right now, I think uh, in this picture, the price is like 40 some dollars. And look at the number of views especially the number, the, the number of watchers, crazy number of watchers on this item. And it ends today at like five o'clock, somewhere around there. So I want to put down in the comments what you think this slot's gonna sell for. Just these two Barbie heads from the 1960s. Yeah, just the heads. And even the hair on one of them was starting to separate from like the plastic scalp, if you wanna call it that. Uh, so it's already at 40 some dollars, ton of views and watchers. What do you think that this listing is gonna go for? Now, but that wasn't it. That wasn't all the stuff. The two, I said I scored, I didn't score with two lady heads. I scored with two ladies and they're, they're back here. They're waiting. I still have to do research on these two ladies. Yeah, I've never sold vintage Barbies before, uh, especially stuff like this. So it's kind of a new category. I'm trying to learn a little bit. Uh, I'd like to know more about Barbies. You see a lot of them out there. And uh, like I said, when I saw these in the, in the case, it was pretty amazing when I opened it up. Uh, I did research this outfit. This is from like a fishing outfit set. If you had like the fishing pole and the fish and the full thing, it's like a hundred dollar little set. Just But just this shirt and the pants sell for about $20. So I will strip her naked before I before I sell this doll and list that little fishing clothes set for like 20 bucks. Haven't identified this one, this set yet, but we've got a top and a pair of shorts on this. I'll give you a little close up of their faces because they used to put a lot of makeup on these Barbies. 
So yeah, I got some research to do. I don't know what these full dolls are gonna sell for. I don't know if they're $50 each. I don't know if they're $200 each. I really, really don't know. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research. Uh, the heads are ending tonight, so that'll give me a good idea of what just the heads from dolls like this would sell for. So uh, I think that was a pretty good score for 20 bucks. All right, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, what do you think? What did, did you put your guess down below for how much those doll heads are gonna sell for? I'm hoping it goes for a lot more. Uh, we always want our, our listings to go for a lot, especially when sales have been slow and I can use a little use a little bump by having that auction uh, bring me some good money. Uh, other than that, I gotta clean up all the stuff that I just spread all over my office again and uh, get to shipping my whopping two orders that I have for today. So uh, that's it, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this will be my last video for the week again. This is Wednesday, if you're watching it Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, I hope we all have a great weekend when that gets here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.